Hello everyone and welcome back to Life is Art. Today I want to talk about a book that is really important to me and that is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I'm going to begin this with a quote from the book. He lay listening to the water drip in the woods, bedrock this, the cold and the silence, the ashes of the late world carried on the bleak and temporal winds to and fro in the void, carried forth and scattered and carried forth again, everything uncoupled from its shoring, unsupported in the ashen air, sustained by a breath, trembling and brief, if it only my heart were stone. I read this book in 2011 for an American Lit class. Uh, it was the first book that I had read for school that really grabbed me, grabbed my attention, and I actually willingly finished. <laughs> the Road to me is about hope, um, but not in the sense that you would think uh, a book about hope might be. I think The Road is about keeping hope, uh, keeping faith in a hopeless, faithless world. Uh, the setting of the novel is a uh, post-apocalyptic United States. It's about a father and a son, uh, simply referred to as a uh, man and the boy, uh, making their way south for the winter. Uh, because obviously the weather would be warmer. Now within this novel that might seem basic from a simple synopsis, there are a myriad of questions. The style of this book, the style of Cormac McCarthy, isn't really for everyone. Not everybody liked this book. Um, but he, and even I was at first frustrated by it because there are no quotation marks and sometimes you really don't understand um, who said what. But in a book like The Road, uh, who said what doesn't really matter as much as uh, what was said. Now back to the questions that I had mentioned earlier. The first questions you really ask are simple questions like, what's going on? Where are they? What happened? Are they homeless? Uh, these are normal, basic setting questions that you might wonder from a book that doesn't really tell you any of that kind of stuff about the setting, other than it's dark and um, there's a lot of ash. Um, then as you read on, the questions start to become more deep, more existential, like what is faith? What is hope? What is the meaning of living if humans are just going to destroy everything? Now, it's never said that humans destroyed the earth in the novel, but you get a sort of distinct feeling that the state of humanity might have pushed this onto it. Almost in a Sodom and a Gomorrah type of way. It feels very much like humanity turned to shit, so God destroyed the earth and humans were left to fend for themselves using only what was left, which was not very much. Although this book might be bleak, I really loved it. It made me think about myself as a human and what kind of human I am and what kind of human I want to be. Do I want to be like the people in the book roasting babies to eat? Yes, there is a section in the book where people are roasting a baby on a spit. Or do I want to be like the two main characters, carrying the fire, the fire of hope, of goodness and purity in humanity? That to me really is uh, what the child in the book represents. He represents innocence and purity and the hope for a species that has lost all its integrity. And his father is shepherding him to safety, shepherding him to a place where his potential can flourish because he knows that he himself is impure and part of the humanity, the form of the human race that is no longer welcome on this earth. Now the ending of the novel has always been under debate. Some think it garners hope and some think it garners hopelessness. Now on the surface, hopelessness is what it may seem to be. But I really believe that if you think about the child and what he represents, which is hope, that even though what once was could never be. Because of the child, something new may be created out of purity and out of innocence. And that's what I think about the road. Um, now, if you have any comments, please feel free to mention them in the comment section below. Uh, I want to start a conversation. If you had any um, different interpretations in the book, please let me know. Speak about it with me. 
um, I want to talk about it with my viewers. Um, also too, if there's a book that um, made you think about similar themes, um, made you think about life in general, um, please share it with me. I would love to check it out. If you like this video, uh, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like this. I post every Tuesday. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.